right, guys, this is a little video on how I convert mods. This isn't how you convert mods. This is how I do it. So take it from what you want there. First, your first very step here is going to, you're going to take the zip file and you're going to unzip it, right? So I have ambulance truck. Then I'm going to go to my i3D, locate the main i3D, which is this vehicle one. And I'm going to open it up in this text editor. And the first thing I'm going to see is asset line. I'm going to delete that. And then if you've uh, watched other videos, you'll watch me play the texture chasing game. And anything with data S, you need to make sure that it's either in the mod or in the new version of the game that is located under here when you, you would go objects, round bales, objects, see, round bales. And you would see if that round hay bale def you would either change the file path to match in here or copy and paste from FS19 and put it inside your mod. So that's going to be your first step. And you'll go through and change all these. So they'll be, uh, let's say I'm going to put it all in my mod. So what, what I'm going to go through and I'm going to change this to imported. And this little... Uh, dot dot slash that I'm putting here. It's because my mod it happens to be the way that I set up my design. It's inside this I3D file. So the dot 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 means go up one folder to here. And it's saying that now, so up one folder, imported. So we're gonna go in the imported here and then we're gonna have vehicle wheels 1978, which is right here, the normal. And I'm going to go through and do that for every one of these if it's not in there anymore. Like the glass normal, I'm not sure if that's in there. Window, you won't have to do this one. Wire, they moved the location of this. The file's still in the game. They just moved it so you'd have to change the file path or just copy and paste it from FS19. Put it in your mod if you're lazy. Sometimes I get that way. But that is step one and two. One little neat trick you can do to speed up time a little bit, and I do apologize for this video right now because my microphone busted today, and today was the day I set aside to make some videos, so I am using my PC built-in microphone. I do apologize if I have crackling or if you hear my keystrokes. Sorry, it's either that or I just don't make a video today. So while you're inside of Notepad++, you can click right before whatever you want, as long as everything's in line here, you can click right before it, hold Alt. Now click again and drag, and you can highlight all the lines here. This makes it really nice for when you're trying to write the same thing over and over again. So I highlighted everything I wanted, and then I hit Control V because I already had it pasted the import it, and now all those are done. And then I'll do the exact same thing for here. Control V, boom. Now, those files are all located inside of my mod, inside the imported folder. They're all in here, those ones at least. I still have to go through and do those ones, these, these bad boys right here. Or you might not even use them. Um, like the vehicle shader, that's going to work. I don't have to do anything with that. I'm not sure if the asset library is in there, but I'm going to go through and I'm going to track down all these textures and shaders, make sure they're either in the game and reroute them, or I'm just going to copy and paste them and put them inside the mod. So we will revisit this, what the next step is after I get that done in a microsecond. One little word on rerouting. So we're going to take a look at the wire really fast, right? So the dollar sign in front of the data means it's reaching into the game and not inside your mod. And then it's going to look into the shared folder, which I have up right here, FS, the game, data, data S, and then shared. But see, it has changed in 22 versus 19 where the wire normal is located. It's now located under assets as well. So we would go through something like that. So now it's going to be data shared assets wire normal, data shared assets wire normal down here. Uh, and that would be another way of going through and rerouting these textures besides just copying and pasting from the prior game. Items like the Windows Specular shared, you would just check. So Farming Simulator, Data, Shared, 
Okay, I'm inside the game folder right now. I'm looking for Windows Specular. Is there a Windows Specular in here? There is no Windows Specular that I can see. There's a window O2 Specular. So what we would do here is we're going to put O2. Now, it's just going to use that blank generic Windows Specular. Window O2 Specular. I know I've said that a couple times because I'm trying to make sure that I get it right on video. Okay, and the glass 01 normal, that isn't going to be used anymore, really. I don't think it's in there. I don't see it at all. So what we're actually going to do on that one is the default normal is just a blank. It's generic. So we're just going to use that one there instead. And once we open the game and we hit save, it'll actually combine these two files together and remove this line and just make it one file ID. So every time you put a texture in the game, it assigns a file ID to it inside Giants Editor. This i3D, you got to be careful in here because if you you put a period or a, uh, da, 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 da in the wrong place, you, it will not open in Giants Editor. And so you remove that or fix it because it, it's a program and this is... This is the script that it's running. I hope that makes sense there. So I will continue going on, and if I find anything else, I'll bring it up. There's definitely one thing that I want to make sure that you understand. That if you open up your mod in Giants Editor before you are ready to go through and do the whole conversion of all these textures, it will delete them. So if you don't track these these file paths down and locate default normal clear glass. I know that that's not clear glass anymore. It's changed. Um, Giants editor, when it opens up, it'll give you an error in the console. It says I cannot locate these files. Let's just bring that up. So I've opened the ambulance in Giants editor 902 and I have the console open at the bottom. If you don't have that open, you can't see it, go to window and then find console in here and it'll open up. Just, just click on it. Boop. So as I scroll through here, I can see that it is missing DDS file. That's a texture file. Uh, all texture files are saved in DDS file format and it's default metal specular. You can't find that. It can't find all these emissive maps. So in material pickup decal custom map is not referenced. And so that is something that I would look at just deleting uh, from the mod itself. And then these three things, the this was a part of the strap it. If you played FS19, we used the hay bales to strap stuff down and it had textures assigned to it, even though it was invisible. And I can just let the game delete those when I hit save again. It also is going to tell you an old shapes file format version found. Now this will go away once you hit save because it'll save it with a new uh, new asset line tag inside of the shapes file and also in the i3D. If you remember in the beginning, we deleted that uh, from the i3D inside the text editor. So I'm not going to hit save yet because I'm going to track down these textures and either assign them to just the regular specular i'm going to remove this dashboard lights shader just because it doesn't work anymore i like to use the glow shader instead uh, i'm going to do those little bit of things before i hit save but if you hit save all this information is gone it, it'll, it'll delete it it won't even tell you and it'll leave the object white it won't have a texture assigned to it where it was assigned do not do that do not even open up your mod yet in ge until you get this work done inside of the i3d file that is my best recommendation to you if you want to have an easy transition now what i am going to do is not hit save and continually reopen this and use the console to help me track down and figure out still what's broken so if we want to refer back to it this default normal specular i need to go figure out if it's actually in the game or not so i'm actually just gonna highlight it again because i messed up and see if i can copy it and try to locate it in the game. I have most of the game files on quick access in my thing because it's all I do is mod. So I just click on data and then once I have data open, I go for the search just to because I'm lazy. You, you could totally, if you kind of know the area where this is at, then it'll dial it in, but it's no longer in the game. So we actually are just going to change that wherever it is. 
wherever, wherever. Oh, I don't even know where it is. Right there, default metal specular. We're going to change that to just a regular specular. It's not in there. And then clear glass diffuse. We definitely need to make sure that this is here. If not, we'll change it to the regular glass. Okay, so it is located. Let's go to open file locations under data shared. Okay, we're good. How about asset libraries? Check that real quick. And this is how I do it, guys. Is speed checking it, open file location, shared assets, shared assets. It's under there. Okay, sweet deal. That's under there. Uh, vehicle shader, don't have to worry about that. We're going to end up deleting this, but not us deleting it. We're going to allow GE to delete it when we remove it from the bales. Mirror shaders, shouldn't be any issues with that. Dashboard light shader, I have yet to get this to work. So I'm going to show you how to remove that and possibly switch it out to the glow shader. I got to remember to not get away from my computer, my PC, because that stupid mic issue. Sorry, guys. And then these last textures right here, we're going to allow the game to delete by us removing it from it. So I am now at the point where I'm ready to open it up in GE and double check it one last time with the console. So we'll hit save, open in here. We're going to hit reload. Okay, so let's go back through and look what we're looking at. Oh, I like to hit clear because I get confused because the previous stuff is still on the console as well. So now we'll hit reload. Okay, so this is what we're going to remove or change to a glow shader. That's fine. We're going to remove these from the strap bits and then all we have to do is hit save and it'll fix that. So let's go through and now we're ready to save in this game. Are you ready? So under strap it, you probably won't have this issue, but if you're trying to convert one of my mods, I just made a folder called, or a transform called strap it. So this has some right here, this shader is attached. We're gonna remove that. And then we'll go here. It's still looking for these round hay bales. Um, usually they are on on some part of the strap it part of it. Okay, so if you have something like this that you can't track down, what we're gonna end up doing, so now we've hit save, can't load resource, blah, 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 blah. I couldn't track it down to remove it because it couldn't find it. Now it's just gonna delete it. So we'll hit clear, we'll hit reload. No errors in the console. It's going to ask me to reload here. I'm going to say yes. Couldn't find it. It deleted it. And then it also removed the file ID number, which corresponds with all of these materials and so on and so forth. So if you delete it from this file, it'll cause issues. It's also been exported and saved in this new editor. Uh, you can change the name there. Now it's ready to actually start playing with the XML. And I think that is where we're going to stop this video. And I'm going to create a whole nother video for this. I've kind of already covered the base of this in my previous converting video. But this is super important. Everybody's messaging me about flashing and all these things going on with their mods. And when you don't do this step and you're... <laughs> just skipping it and opening up the file right off the bat, this is what you're gonna see. You're not gonna see a whole heck of a lot. So I recommend following these steps and I will meet you guys in the next video after you like and subscribe this one and I will be covering the very next steps to actually getting this ambulance truck. Uh, maybe it's your mod, maybe it's whatever mod, but there's a lot of features on this that you could transgress to your own mod. So. I'm going to convert this in my following videos. Stay tuned. Hit subscribe. I'll see you guys later.